All right, guys. Here we have uh, Spinlock XTS clutch. We're going to be taking apart and uh, showing you how to replace the uh, base plate and the uh, existing cam and any other parts you may happen to break or uh, think need replacing. We're going to start by taking out there four uh, four bolts that hold the side plates together and contain the uh, inner workings of the clutch. So here I go, taking those guys off. Third one and the fourth one coming out there. Um, the last bit that's going to come out is the uh, is there's a pin that just pushed in there that um, the handle rotates on. So we took it over here to our vise. Got a piece of leather there just to protect the cleat when we hammer it out. Also helps catch the pin if it is to go all the way through. So we prop it up there, and I am uh, struggling a bit awkwardly here, but uh, there we go. I got a punch there. You know you can use you know any sort of thing that just to help tap it out. You just got a hammer there and. Just tap it right on through. I manage, I think, not to hit it all the way out. Yep, there it is. So, there we have it. The side plate should come right off, exposing all the inner workings. Took, taking it back over to the bench now. We've taken the side plate off. The handle lifts right on out. Now there's a pin up there that the uh, cam rotates on. Um, also, the fair leads uh, fore and aft in the clutch come out. Now we're taking the cam and the uh, base plate come out. Uh, those are held together, you'll see, by a pin uh, towards the back of the clutch. I'll be showing you there in a minute. I think it's going to... You can see there the cam rotates on that. It's actually going to fall out away from you as I try to pull it out. There it is. That'll allow you to lift the cam up off of the base plate. Uh, the other part you can see there is that forward on the base plate there is a plastic fitting that uh, the that the cam rests on when it's in the closed position that it rotates on to keep it from slamming all the way forward. Uh, we were uh, interrupted there by Mr. Kayard briefly. Um, that plastic piece uh, can be replaced. It slides back on. You'll notice there are uh, recessed points on the base plate for it to sit in right there and there and then that sits there where the line actually passes through it. I uh, start by putting it back together you'll notice that both side plates are um, pretty well marked where uh, where the different pins uh, sit and where the cam sits and where the base plate sits. Um, so you, the cam is, uh, I showed you there earlier written across the front of it, is are the different line diameters which you'll commonly see depending on if you're changing out halyards or different control lines you know often going uh, downsizing with high-tech lines going to smaller line sizes so you might want to change out your uh, change out your cams and uh, eventually some the uh, with all these high-tech covers and lines again will uh, we'll also wear the teeth down of both the base plate and the cam so back to putting it back together you'll see that there is a uh, when you slide the uh, base plate and the cam back in make sure that the uh, the cam is sitting on top of that plastic piece and that that the, uh, the pin that sits up on top of the cam is uh, seated correctly. Don't forget to put the fair leads back in place. And um, you can start by laying the handle back in place as well. And when you go ahead and put on the matching side plate, you want to make sure that the, uh, there we go, make sure that all the pins and, and different fittings line, line up correctly. Last part is going to be to drop the handle back into place and tap the pin back in. So make sure everything's lined up. It, it feels uh, snug and put back together. You know, give it a good dry fit. Take a look at the handle. I'm just making sure everything's seated correctly and in the right place. Get the handle pre-fed a little bit. A little trick you can do to help get the handle in place is you use an awl or a bolt or something to help it get it lined up on the. Uh, on the other side, so use use that as a uh, as almost a messenger. And uh, once you get it lined up, you can just tap it on home and stand her back up. Put the bolts back in. Get them all hand tight, and then you know cross tighten them to make sure that uh, it all tightens down evenly. And I uh, should be going into fast speed here in a minute. Uh, there I go. And uh, should be complete. Um, you just want to give it a, a quick check, you know, flip it open a couple times, like I'm going to do here in a second. Just make sure everything is 
all the uh, pins and the cams are engaging correctly and operating properly. And that's what you need to do to uh, rebuild a uh, Spinlock XDS clutch.